Hi and welcome back, I'm David Starbuck Smith and today I'm going to show you how to open up your hips in three simple exercises. This is very quick, very easy and if you're experiencing hip tightness or hip pain in any way, these three exercises can take that out just like that. They're very effective, they're very powerful and what's more is they'll not just help your hip, they'll help your posture all around. So here we go, three quick exercises, get ready. The first exercise is you're actually going to do a quad stretch. You're going to take your right hand, you're going to grab your right foot. Now if you can't grab your foot, don't worry about it. Put your foot behind you on a chair or a couch, the arm of a couch or a table so that you're just resting that foot on that couch. Or if you're grabbing your hand, either way, grabbing your hand or resting your foot on a chair or a couch or a table, you're going to take your hips, you're going to take tuck under. So you're taking your butt and you're tucking under, like you're flattening out your lower back. And you'll notice as you do that, that you will find a big stretch on the front of your right thigh. You want to keep these knees level. So don't, you don't want one knee in front or way behind. You want the knees level. If you're having trouble with balance on this one, either hold on to something if you like, or take your opposite hand, left hand, and pull down on your left ear. I know that sounds weird, but believe it or not, it works and it's effective. So here you are, stretching your right thigh, take your hips, tuck under, relax your shoulders, and then switch legs. Say hi to Olive as she's coming by. So same thing with the left leg, grab your left foot with your left leg, sorry, grab your left foot with your left hand, bring your knees in towards each other, take your hips and gently tuck under. Of course, you can have your foot on a couch or a chair or anything that works. But keep tucking, you'll notice a big stretch. And you want to notice if there's a stretch more on one side than the other. That's very common. It's not okay, but it's common. That's the imbalance, the pelvic imbalance that you're feeling. That imbalance actually runs all the way up from the hips to the spine to the shoulders. Okay, great. Next exercise, you're going to go down on your knees, one knee. And you're going to a lunge position. So knees on the ground, back of your foot behind you. Sink forward and down with your hips. Put your hands on your, on your front knee, so your left knee in this case. Push your upper body back and relax your shoulders. You're going to hang out right here for a second. You should feel a little stretch on the front of your right hip. Make sure your upper body's not leaning forward. Shoulders are down. Hips are pointing straight ahead. Now interlace your hands together. Lock them out and straight up overhead. Pull your hands back. Lock out your elbows best you can, pull your hands back. About 10 seconds or so, maybe about a 10 to 15 second stretch on each side. Then extra 10 seconds with the arms up, switch legs. Right leg in front, left leg behind you, sink forward and down. Push your upper body back. Sink more as you get comfortable. You should feel a stretch on the front of that left hip. Like I said, about 10 seconds, interlace your hands, lock out your arms, straight up overhead, keep sinking down, pull those arms back, try and relax your shoulders away from your ears, lock out your elbows, pull back, and then relax. Last exercise, you're still on your knees, feet are pigeon-toed behind you, so your toes are touching, your heels are out. Make a fist, thumbs up, arms straight up so your thumbs are pointing behind you. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Rotate your thumbs out. So you're rotating them out this way. Rotate out. Try and relax your stomach again. Pull those hands back. Now bring them out to 45 degrees. We're going to hold three positions, about 10 to 15 seconds each position. Keep rotating those thumbs out. You're rotating this way. Rotate them out, you're at 45 degrees. Pull those hands back a little further. And then last one, drop your arms level with your shoulders. Shoulder blades drop down and back. Rotate those thumbs back even more. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Don't forget to smile and enjoy this. This is quick, it's powerful, and relax. And go ahead and stand up, shake it out. Notice what you feel. You'll notice a couple things. One is that you're, you'll feel taller. Your upper body will feel much more upright. And this is important because your upper body is contributing to your hip tightness. Any tightness in your upper body, any rotation, any slouching, rounding, is going to contribute to limitation in the full range of motion of your hips. So it's important to clear that upper body out, which is what you just did. 
You should feel much better right now. Walk around, test your hips out. You should feel looser, quick, easy. You're more balanced. You're more flexible, just like that. And you can do this pretty much anytime, anywhere. Even if you have an office, been working long days and sitting long days and your hips are feeling tight, get down on the floor, do those quick exercises, and then you're done and you'll feel great. Go for a walk if you can. Thanks for sticking around today. If you have back pain or sciatic nerve pain or any other kind of pain, please check out some of my other videos that will help you with that. Again, they're quick, they're effective, and they're proven over, over 20 years of experience working with chronic pain. So they work. So come see me again soon, and I'll look forward to seeing you for the next posture fix or the next hip opening.